Hello and welcome back to Applied Houdini. This is Dynamics 2, where we're going to continue where we left off in Dynamics 1, where we set up a basic scene last time. Um, in particular, we're going to talk about sourcing volume into the scene, as opposed to just starting with a stock volume. This is going to be about adding temperature, adding density, adding velocities into your simulation over time for some really neat effects. Um, along that line, uh, we're also going to go talk more about the different microsolvers that are used the most. In particular, uh, disturbance. Um, we talked a little bit about dissipation last time. Uh, more about turbulence, and even ones you wouldn't think are microsolvers, like uh, the resize field to, in order to dynamically modify the bounds of the simulation while it's running. That's, and that stuff is important to keeping simulation times down low, which in turn, of course, helps you get as many iterations out as possible. Um, we're going to talk about drag. Uh, other forces like drag uh, will help give the impression that your simulation is actually taking place in the world, air resistance or, or wind and things of that nature. Um, these are all important things that you're going to encounter in a production environment and will honestly just make your, your shots look cooler anyway. So that is what you have to look forward to. And as usual, let's, let's get to it. <laughs> 